What is going on everybody? King Recon here, man. From the moment that I saw this announcement on Anime News Network, I knew that when it dropped, I had to do a reaction to it, man. For my boy, Mr. Prince. For my main man, Sanji. You know, man. So, here we are. I've got my Viz thing open. But before we get into the chapter, um, look at this cover, dude. This is one of my favorite Viz Jump covers ever. Look at that. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. It's got Luffy laying down, chilling the straw on his stomach and all of the volumes of One Piece behind him. So sick, man, so sick. So let's get right into uh, page 203. Oh man, dude, Shokugeki no Sanji, bro. I, listen, man, I'm not caught up to Soma. I'm actually really, really far behind. I, um... I stopped reading the manga in the beginning of the 100s when that was still weekly. And then I watched the anime, got back into it. I was following season three weekly, or third plague, whatever they call it, weekly. And then um, I haven't watched an episode in, in, in a little while. So I'm a little behind on the anime. So I'm really, really behind on the manga. But it's, it's Sanji related. So I'm here. I'm here, man. And I've always enjoyed... The, I'm not sure what the mangaka's name is, but the mangaka of Shokuiki no Soma, I've always enjoyed their artwork. So, let's see what happens here. Special one-shot! Food Wars! Shokugeki no Sanji. Sanji. And it shows the Bratier. Oh, -ho. so that's the notorious floating restaurant. Hmm? At first glance, it looks deplorably third-rate. And you see someone right here. It looks like they're carrying some, some heavy assets going on right here, man. Something Sanji would like. <laughs> we see him chilling on here, man. Let's out a smoke. Look at how fresh my boy looks, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> bro, look at how fresh my boy's looking. I mean, just straight up fresh, bro. You got the smoke surrounding him. Based on Ichiroda's... One Piece. Story by Yuto Tsukuda. Art by Shun Saeki. Contributor Yuki Morisaki. The Food Wars creative team cooks up a special One Piece one-shot for the 21st anniversary, of course. This is so cool, man. Food Wars Shokugeki no Sanji. I, I kind of want to make this my, my lock screen. Look at how beast he looks, dude. I, I'll download it on my phone afterwards, and then I'll look at it. So we have the Baratier restaurant. Hmm, I thought, I thought as much. Nothing but low-class slop. Yeah, right here. Somebody crosses over their legs. I would, I would rather derelict bars such as this not dare presume to call itself a restaurant. It's an insult to gourmet taste everywhere. An insult? I know for a fact it wasn't Sanji that cooked it. Because my boy Sanji only cooks what comes down from the heavens, you know what I'm saying? When Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hats eat Sanji's cooking, it not only brings them enjoyment while eating, th that thing can bring them power-ups, bro. You see Luffy after he eats some meat? You see Luffy after he devours some of Sanji's food? Man, my boy's ready to take on a Yonko. Are you kidding me, son? Sanji's food will send you into Nirvana, man. It'll send you into a different dimension than you were previously on, bro. Don't try my boy Sanji's cooking, dog. So that woman thinks she is. Yo, man, the Barate, the, the Barate restaurant, um, the uniforms. The uniforms, bro, that's really nostalgic. Is that a woman or, or even human? Almost like a, a Neptunian to me. Want me to kick her out? Oh, wait a minute, is that who I think it is? You there, waiter, a moment, please. You got Sanji, bro. Waiter? Oh, you mean me. I'm sorry, madam, I was just getting off my break. What can I do for you? Be a dear and call the head chef for me, please. I'd like to have a, a few words with him before I leave. Ah, uh, my apologies, madam, but I just so happens to be that he's out acquiring supplies today. You're leaving, but you haven't touched your food. There's no need to have seen enough. If the head chef isn't here, then I'll be on my way. Oh, why the hurry? Yo, and then you have this panel right here of Sanji. He doesn't say anything. He just looks up, bro. Looking fresh. <laughs> why the hurry? Isn't it a little cruel to ignore those poor dishes? <laughs> let her go, Sanji. If she wants to leave, let her. Just make sure she pays first. No, we can't. We can't let her walk out that door, boys. Paying customers are customers no matter how bad they are, dude. Listen, man. As someone who works in a restaurant, bro, that's a fact. That's a fact. And the end, bro, they get on your nerves, man. And really, I mean, sometimes, bro, I just, I, I, oh my God, I 
feel like I feel like fighting. I feel like fighting sometimes, bro. And you, if you work in a restaurant, you you know you you know you know the feeling as well. But by God, man, they paid it, bro. They paid and they came to eat your food, dog. So you best supply them with some food, man. You best supply them with some food, dog. And it better be the best damn food you've ever made, man. It's always been the thing that I've always lived by. The best possible experience, dog. And uh, paying customers are paying customers, man, regardless. You know, it doesn't matter if they're the nicest people or or, 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 or the most horrid of, of individuals that will come into the into the place already just yelling and angry, man. But if they pay for your food, bro, you best serve it up, dog. You best serve it up to the best possible way that, that you can, man. That's what I've always lived by. And to let her go like this would be a big disservice to all the other customers who generously came here today. Exactly. Exactly, bro. If it was just some hooligans spoiling for trouble, I'd give them a big old knuckle sandwich. But if somebody's got a problem with the flavors we're serving, well, then my fists ain't gonna be enough. That's facts, bro. See, that's the thing. It's like, I can, I can deal with, with somebody, you know, that is causing a ruckus in the in the restaurant, no problem. But if somebody's talking about my food specifically, if somebody is talking about the experience, the dining experience, that's something that we can work on, man. That's on us. That's on us, man. Like it's like okay, you came in, you were having a bad day, whatever. It's our job to make to make to make you have a good day, man. To serve you the best possible dining experience, you come out of there, and and really feel like you 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 had like you weren't wasting your time here. And you got what you came here to get, man. That it was delicious. That that, that you know you, you left stuffed. That's that's the number one most important thing. But for the best possible dining experience, man. So that that's that's a shoot right there, bro. I'm telling you, that's a shoot. We've got to show folks what happens when you diss the good name of the Baratier. Patty Cardinet. Yo, in real time, dog the goats. What makes you think you've got the right to talk about our food like that, eh? How about trying one of our specialties next? Let's see how big of a talker you are then. Man, dude, I love the shading, dog. It looks so sick. She looks up. Oh, yeah, now I remember. That's Savarin, a famous gourmet whose name is known even on the Grand Line. Savarin? Be people call her the tongue that, sp that spans the seas. Why does she look like a Toriko demon? Look at that. Dude, you can't tell me it doesn't look like a Toriko panel. That junk right there looks like a Toriko pan. Whoa, whoa, Googie Punchy. You can't tell me it doesn't look like that, bro. A big time player on the foodie scene, she does it all. From writing reviews for dozens of, for dozens of publications, including the news, the news coup, bro. She sup she sends reviews to my man, the bear of big news. She was sending the reviews to Morgan's, bro. She is the Dave Meltzer of One Piece. She will send, I mean, she'll put five stars, two stars, three stars, and people take her word for it, man. You know, it's in the news coup, baby. The news coup is official, man. She is the Dave Meltzer of the world, dog. Doing event planning and employing chefs for royal summits. She's got backers galore in both the political and financial spheres. I've heard that her bad reviews have spelled doom for countless restaurants around the world. Wait, I've heard of her. So that's the tongue that spans the seas? I generally spend my time working with only the highest of quality art cuisine restaurants. But then I'd heard rumor of a notorious floating restaurant on a, and on a whim. I decided to give it a try. The result, well, is as anyone would have expected, really. Whoa, hold it. Who cares about any of that? All I'm saying is clean your plate before yo my boy said I don't give a flying flag noise what you think about the restaurant, but just eat the food, dog. Eat the food. Clean what's on your plate. Don't leave it. Try it. Put it in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I think I will be generous and give you another chance. But if you can't please my tongue with this last dish, I will write a review stating that anyone who enjoys the food at Brate has in a working taste spread in the hole of their mouth. I'll do it. No way. Leave it up to you. I'll do it. Say that again. No, I'll be the one to shut her up. You trying to start something, huh? Now all the chefs are fighting over who gets to cook the dish. Shut up, all of you. How do you expect our customers to enjoy a peaceful meal with the everybody shot them like that? And I'll be the one to cook that dish so you get your butts back to work. What a pain of all times for the head chef to be out. Don't worry about it, bro. Y'all got the goat, man. You know, Zeph is out there doing his thing. So they're gathering supplies, bro. But y'all got the goat. Y'all got Mr. Prince, man. Y'all got Sanji in there. Sanji will cook up the... Mmm. You want to talk about some... Mmm. You want to talk about five star? My boy Sanji cooks six star meals. Don't try him, coach. I feel so sorry for... for I feel sorry for you being shackled to a dead-end barge like this. If you'd like, I'd happily put in a good word for you at a more appropriate establishment. 
Thanks, yo, look at how beast my boy Saji looks, bro. It's just, it's the shading, man. It looks so clean. And when I see the art like this, it reminds me of all the Breakers art. Have you guys ever read The Breaker? Or like The Breaker New Waves, whichever one. Um, that individual's art is, is insane. I think the reason why it's so good is because of the shading. And right here, just look at the way Sanji looks, right? He just looks so dope, bro. Thanks, but no thanks, see? I owe a thing or two to the owner here. I can't just pack up and leave. Oh, pish. Don't give me that sentimental hooey. This is business. The only things of value are money and reputation. Letting sentiment s sway you is a sign of being second rate. Oh, well, I, su I suspected as much from the beginning. Simple novelty is the only, re the only reason anyone would come to a place like this. It certainly w wouldn't be for the food. Listen, true gourmet can whet the appetite and spur the imagination at only a glance. The finest of luxury ingredients prepared by a skilled elite. Only a dish like that has any true value. Bratti is nothing like that, and thus it has no worth. It's merely another third-rate eatery serving up slop for commoners with no taste or vision. At first I was upset, but now I just find it sad. The owner is an older gentleman, yes? Is he perhaps senile? To consider a cheap rundown excuse for a restaurant like this is treasure. Nah, bro, you just tried Sanji. <laughs> you just tried Sanji, bro. She dared to utter the words. Yo, man, that, that, that hurt me. That hurt me, dog. That made me want to cook up some something delicious, dog, to shut her up. That one hurt me. To consider a cheap, run-down excuse for a restaurant like this his treasure. Look at this woman she is. Come on, coach. Sanji best go up in the next one more. If you'd like, you could prepare a dish for me as well, as you wish. But if I can please your palate, madam, in exchange, I ask that you promise to eat every last bite on that plate in front of you. Do what now? Yeah. <laughs> and yo, Sanji flexes a little bit, bro, takes off the coat. And you know when Sanji's just in his shirt, bro, he's ready to cook, dog, he's going in. That's his try hard, bro. That's like whenever, um, you know, whenever Zoro puts on the bandana, man, that, this is Sanji right here, bro. Flexing, taking off the cloak, putting the tie, bro, tying it up, man. Tightening. Look at Nah, this is my lock screen. Yo, that, bro, that's gonna be my profile picture, bro. Look at this. <laughs> Yo, look at how cool this man is looking, bro. My boy looking fresh, dog. Wait one moment, please. Puts the coat on his back, his tie's in the air, puts one hand up. Sanji greatness, bro. Yo, Patty Cardin, out of the way. Go open up some burgers and counter space for me. And, and counter space for me. And start preheating the oven. Move. Well, hey, who says you get to order me around, squid for brains? And what makes you think you get to do the cooking well? Darn it, Sanji. Just get moving already. That poor waiter is getting all riled up. I hope I haven't done anything too cruel to him. Oh, by the way, the one we got in last week should be fully prepared by now, right? Go get it for me. What? That one? You serious? Look at Sanji, bro. He's dead serious. Dog, don't try, my boy. Goes right in. He just slices the crab, bro. Cicele, the shallots. Quartier the, sh the champignon mushrooms. Let's take the mushrooms, some herbs, and white wine, and set them to require in fumet de poison. Take the shelled meat and lightly simmer it in butter for just a few moments, and add a healthy splash of cognac and... And you see him right there, bro, flambe. And you see the, the I mean, look, look, just look at it, bro. There's like a tornado going on within the salten. I don't even know how to say it in English, but it's a salten. It's at the salten right here, man. You see a tornado coming off that, that thing, man. I don't even know how to say it in English, man, but whatever. Goes right in, pouring that thing on there. Can't, can't see, I like the bossy bastard. But there's no doubting his skills are the real deal. Well, well, aren't aren't things lively in here today, yo? That's gotta be my boy Zeph, bro. Look at my boy Zeph. <laughs> Chef Zeph, you're back early, sir. Oh well, you see, sir, Sanji got in his head to start cooking again. That's fine. Let him. And he's looking at him, bro. He's just staring at him, bro. He knows Sanji's in the zone, bro. Sanji's in the zone. He's out here, bro, putting up ingredients, dog. Hey, bro. Look, man, the moment that he took off the jacket, the moment that he, the 
moment that Sanji flexes the jacket, takes it off, tosses it to the side, and he tightens the... She don't even know. She don't even know! Look at them, brother shook. I apologize for the weight, madam. Please enjoy it while it's still hot. My boy just, I mean, yo, people, did you see that chick's face right there? Look at, look at, look at these two right here. My boy's salivating just looking at it. Just looking at it, he's salivating. Yeah, he's got drool on the side and everything, yo. Shook. Wow, now that's one preposterously huge lobster. Look at how that meat glittens in the, in the light. I can guess how de delicious it'll all be all the way from here. That alone is enough to tell me it was prepared by an elite chef. The rich fragrance of seafood broth mixed with spicy garlic. I can't stop drooling. She takes one bite, bro. <laughs> I forgot they'd be doing that at Summer Man. <laughs> the food gossips. No way. Where did all the delicious fla fla flavor come from? Aromatic savoriness gushing with uh, with every bite, succulent meat so sweet it's nearly measures del delicate flavors. Perfectly situated with just the right blend of herbs. And dip beginning to lightly cook tomale adds tomale. Adds even more layers of creamy depth and complexity to the flavor. Not only that, where on earth did you get that this lobster is? Ah, oh, you would know, wouldn't you, madam? Yes, that is indeed a tomahawk lobster, bro. Tomahawk! Like that one throwing knife used in Block Ops 1, man. We're talking about a tomahawk lobster, bro. Not just a regular lobster. A tomahawk lobster. You might as well call it the Tony Hawk lobster, man. The Tony Hawk lobster, bro. An extraordinarily rare crustacean. It has evolved to thrive in both salt and freshwater environments. And its most distinguishing features is in the forelimbs, unlike other lobsters, instead of pincers, it has a pair of large, incredibly sharp axes and ambush predator. An, a an ambush predator. It will hide in the silt of river deltas, waiting for prey to swim by force leaping out and killing it with a heavy axe blow. Its shell so exceptionally hard, it's sometimes used to reinforce the joints of suits of armor. Good God! Suits of armor? Some smaller tribal cultures will offer it up as sacrifice and rituals. <laughs> sacrifices. That sacrifice this thing, man. So it's the seven colored fish from, from Yu Gi Oh! Let me see. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Damak lobster is one of the most difficult shellfish to prepare in the entire world. Even elite chefs of the most famous of hot cuisine restaurants have, to put, have trouble preparing them. There's no way a mere waiter at some third rate greasy spoon could make a dish of this caliber. Oh, well, about that? I'm sorry, but I'm not actually a waiter. You're not? It just so happens that our part-time wait staff all, all ran out on us again. That kind of things happens around here. So the kitchen staff has been taking turns working the tables, that's all. The name's Sanji. I'm the sous chef at Resi Restaurant Barati. Hey! You must believe it! The sous chef at Sea Restaurant Barati. Remember that. Let me set the record straight. Those pretentious dishes you were talking about? We could make him if we wanted to, but Barati isn't about food like that. To provide a, a moment's rest to sailors in the middle of a long, tiring sea voyage. To provide good, hearty food for any and all comers who arrive with empty stomachs. That is the Barati sails these seas. A flimsy one-trick tongue like yours has no right to say a thing about this. <laughs> Let him know! Dude, Sanji just cut the promo of the year, bro. I mean, yo, he fodderized her. He fodderized her with words and with his abilities, dog, as he should. As he should! A flimsy one-trick one trick tongue like yours has no right to say a thing about this ship. Now, madam, if you would please clean your plate like you promised to, just like you promised to. How dare this brat lecture me, but, but I can't. I just can't turn my mind away from this dish. And yo, she's chomping away, bro. You better believe she's chomping away. You can't resist my boy Sanji's food. Look how fresh my boy's looking, bro. Looking clean. 
as one might releases a shockwave of energy through me, and piece by piece the old me, the me steeped in dirty money and bleeding fame, breaks away. It feels as though I'm being reborn from the inside out. It's so good that I've got, it feels like I've got an, an, a taste of delicious fruit. I've forbidden fruit that changes a person completely, granting them a new ama amazing powers. A devil fruit. <laughs> Yo, this lobster is so good. It makes her feel like she just got some powers, bro. Like she just ate a devil fruit. Get out of here, coach. <laughs> the strip strip fruit. Hey, man, listen, bro. This is a shoot. If that thing actually existed in One Piece, man, Sanji, Sanji would have would have like blasted away. I mean, that's some Team Rocket stuff, man. He would have nose bled into, you know, in Super Smash Brothers Melee. Or in Brawl, whenever you have like the you have the screen KO and then you have the star KO, Sanji would have star KO'd if this actually existed in in the One Piece verse. No question, he would have star KO'd, bro. <laughs> oh man, Oopuff. Oh man, yeah, he lights up, puts on the jacket again, tightens it up. Boys, Madam's ready to go home. Somebody's yo, look at how look at how look at how going he looks, bro. My boy Sanji, dog. And be polite about it, too. Like, he, he took care of business. He know he took care of business. Sanji, that was great. I feel so much better now. Yeah, thanks for opening that puffed whole bag's butt and putting it in her place. Hey, what were you talking about? I would never harm a lady. No matter who they are. All I did was cook a tasty meal for her to eat. The kid's grown so much, so... And me have outgrown this little restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's show. Please return to your meals. Sanji, you order up, uh, order up for table five. You got it. All right, then back to work. What's up, Carne? Another ship is headed our way. A pirate ship, by the looks of her. Well, as long as they pay up, we don't care who they are. They're still a customer. What kind of flag is that? Yo! Oda allowed this man to write the prologue to the Verati AR. <laughs> Yo, that's so cold. You see this giant flag, you know the Oh man, dude. <laughs> that's gold, man. That is flipping oh dude, that ah oh, it ended so early. It ended so early, man. Oh man, this was amazing, man. Let me look at the Gotham comments right quick. My heart goes out to the victims of flooded and flooding in Western Japan. What did, what did what did um? Oh, his name is Shun Saiki. I had zero days off while working on the Shogu no Shoma no Sanji one shot, but I was surprisingly fine. It was tough. It was tough to draw while doing a, a regular civilization, but it was also really rewarding. Of course it is, man. That's so, dude. This entire chapter was clean, but this was just the icing on the cake, man. Seeing the, seeing the flag, the Jolly Roger, the strides coming up in there, the prologue, bro. Yo, son, look, bro. There's so there was so many sick panels in this entire thing. Our son is looking a goat. And, and I mean, it, you couldn't have given it to any anyone better, man. I mean, Shokugeki no Soma, like, so many of us in the community have always brought up, like, the, like, um, and, you know, for fun. You know, like, if Sanji were to walk up into the Shokugeki no Soma um, universe, like, he's going to him. At least that's, that's, that's what I always say. Like, he's going to, like, Soma, bro. I don't give a flying flag, Nard. And just to have the Shokugeki no Soma creator, like, the, the mangaka for Shokugeki, for Shokugeki no Soma come up into, like, somewhere and write a one-shot for Sanji. But not only a one-shot, but one that takes place in the Barati A and is the prologue to the arc? To the Barati arc! Yo, Sanji was... Oh, man. Sanji was gold in this chapter, dog. Really, really gold. Shokugeki no Sanji, man. I want to reread this again already. Yo, he looks so fresh in this flipping color page, bro. Let me screenshot this. Let me just... Yo, there was so many goat panels in this thing, man. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Reading this made me want to catch up to Shokuki no Soma. It really did. 
And, and like reading this uh, <laughs> made me want to catch up to Shokugeki no Soba, man. Shukuki no Sanji, man. I don't. I listen, bro. I'm a, I'm a fanboy. I'm a fan. This was an awesome sauce, bro. I, I don't care, dude. This was amazing. Just this was just straight up fan service. It was clout. It was showcasing the greatness of my main man Sanji, bro. And I loved. I loved every second of it, man. This was so clean, dude. Flipping flag marks, dog. This was amazing. This dude, and just so many of these panels. Like, look at this. Look at that, bro. Look at gold. And then this one, bro. I mean, God, man. I, 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 I don't, I don't know what to say, bro. This, their skull and bones is wearing a strut. <laughs> The Baratie, man. Ah, oh, this was, this was perfect, man. This was greatness. Like, I've always wondered how like another mangaka would would draw something One Piece related, and um, you know this. It, I mean, it was it was just perfect. It was perfect for the for the manga. It was perfect for the mangaka for the twenty first anniversary. Like a Sanji one shot, man. Shokugeki no Sanji, bro. And the fact that he drew this alongside his already regular serialization, and it looks this good. Like, the art was, was, was just this on point already. Like, oh, man, dude. Greatness, man. I love every second of this. I'm going to go back and reread this, but I'm going to have the Sanji OST in the background. You know what some of the... I'm trying to sound it out, though. You know, the, the transition theme there for Sanji. Yeah, that's Sanji theme, bro, from back in the day, man. The knees blue. But anyways, man, I'll see y'all next time. This was awesome, Sasuke. This really made me want to catch up to Soma. Not only did it make me want to catch up to Soma, but it, it, it made me want to reread Baratier. I'm not going to lie. This made me want to reread the Baratier arc, man. Yo, this man Sanji cut such a beast promo, bro. This man said... My boy said a flimsy one-trick tongue like yours has no right to say a thing about this shit, dog. <laughs> no. I'll see y'all next time, man. Have an awesome sauce of a day. Shokugeki no Sanji greatness. Have an awesome one, man. <laughs>